We are live. Who is here? We are live. Can you hear me? Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Can you hear me? Can you hear me, please? Good evening. This is Ignition Summit. Can you hear me? Hello? Good evening, everyone. Who can hear me? Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining. Good evening. All right, our guest speaker for today will come live soon. Come live soon. All right, all right. All right. This is Debbie Agwala, the convener of Ignition Summit 2021. It's to be here today. I'm excited. All right, invite your friends. Tell them it's about... Right. All right, all right. All right, good evening. If you can hear me, tell me where you're watching me from. If you can hear me, tell me where you're watching me from. Let me know if you're watching me from Make It State. Let me know. Where are you watching me from? Watching me from? Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is entrepreneurship, and I know you're all ready. You're ready with your pen and paper. You're just have to jot things down, and you're ready mindset to implement. So if you're ready,
Let's go, let's go. Yeah. Welcome, welcome. All right, join us soon now. Let's go there. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? If you can hear me loud and clear, let me know. I'm super excited to be here today. Yes, yes, yes. Our guest speaker for today will soon join us now. She will join us. Mr. Sade will join us now. All right. I am Debbie Agola. I am Deborah Gola, a photographer, a graphic designer, the convener of this summit. Yes, small girl. All right. All right. What is this summit all about? We see people consuming data on social media, they watch videos. They read write-ups, they read content, maybe video content or audio or text format content. But we can see some people's data and smartphone are liability rather than being an asset. So we are here to change that story today. So that is why Ignition Summit is here for you. As an entrepreneur, student, anybody to liberate you, to liberate your phone, from being a liability, want to turn into an asset by using social media, by leveraging on social media. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. All right.
Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. It's good to be here live with you. Good evening, ma. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Good I can hear you clearly. All right. All right. Welcome, ma. So, Thank guys, you so much. here is Miss Tosia Day. All right. Thank Welcome you, to me. We are glad to have you here today. We are glad to have you here this evening to talk about purposeful entrepreneurship. If you are here, please kindly drop fire emoji. Our guest speaker, guest speaker for this time is around. So let's drop fire emoji. All right. You have the floor now, Ma. Thank you, Ma. Thank you very much, Ma. I'm honored to be with you. I'm really grateful for this opportunity. And to everyone out there, my fireful audience, God bless you so much. Thank you for having me at this lively Ignition Summit. So um, the team being Igniting Digital Entrepreneurship, and um, I'm here to talk about purposeful entrepreneurship through social media, actually, how you can use your, um, you know, your social media, your digital space, and be purposeful with it, all right? But um, I want you to take note of certain things, and that includes how that um, you are not supposed to be consumed by the internet. You're not supposed to be consumed by it at all. Rather, you're supposed to be a contributor to the online space, yes. You're supposed to be a contributor, not only a consumer. Yes, you can consume stuff from the online space, but you're not supposed to be just a consumer. You're supposed to give out content and also be purposeful about what you give out, all right? So I'm going to be talking to you how you can purposefully give out, all right, without warning out, how you can purposefully give out to um, the digital space, okay? How you can leverage on social media to express your business purpose without being weighed down. So I'll go high straight. There are certain words here that I have mentioned severally. These words are conversant. If you want to be a, um, a purposeful entrepreneur, these are things that you must be conversant with, okay? And one of them is leverage, leverage. And to leverage simply means to take advantage of. Are we still together? Are you still there? All right, so to leverage means to take advantage of and social media also. I'm sure you already have a great idea of what social media means, but I'll just give you a quick view, all right? Social media is whatever you can call internet-based or a digitally inclined means of communication, of exchange, all right? That you can use to exchange interest, you can use to exchange information, through virtual platforms, communities, and network, all right? And then straight up to purpose. You know, whenever purpose comes to mind, too many people are afraid. They feel like purpose, purpose, this word sounds too heavy. There are so many complicated definitions of purpose, all right? Please, I'd like to know if you're following, okay? Thank you very much. Yes, so I was talking about um, purpose. Here, purpose in this context, I'm going to be talking about purpose in this context alone, not in the, not in the general view, okay? And um, in this context, I'll say that purpose is a clearly defined reason of starting a business. A clearly defined reason, a clearly defined purpose of starting a business, all right? And talking about entrepreneurship also in this context. Entrepreneurship, can you hear me? All right. So entrepreneurship in this context is the art of starting, growing, and managing a business. Starting, growing, and managing a business. That is what entrepreneurship means, all right? So putting all this together, with all this in mind, we can say that purposeful entrepreneurship simply means the art of growing, managing, and developing a business with clearly defined intention. Yes, 
purposeful entrepreneurship simply means starting, growing, developing a business with a defined intention in mind, with a purpose in mind, with a reason in mind. It is doing business with a particular purpose, with a defined direction. Trust me, you don't want to do business that has no purpose, that has no direction, okay? And um, without further ado, I'm going to go straight to why purpose for entrepreneurship. I've been going on and on about, I've been going on and on about um, entrepreneurship, all right? Um, about um, purposeful entrepreneurship. I've been going on and on about that. And I want you to understand that Purposeful entrepreneurship is a concept that you cannot even afford to joke with because you're going to be baseless at the end of the day. So why purposeful entrepreneurship? The first reason you should consider purposeful entrepreneurship, uh, I think I have a little challenge. Give me a bit of time. Okay. Thank you, thank you. I was just going through the comments to see if we are following. Thank you very much. So talking about um, why purpose for entrepreneurship. Now I want you to know that anything or concept without a clearly defined purpose will not last long. Anything without, or any concept without a clearly defined purpose cannot last long because the purpose of a thing determines how long it will last. Your reason of doing something determines how long you will continue doing it. So if you want to build a business that will stand the test of time, then purposeful entrepreneurship is for you. If you want to build a business that can stand over time, generation to generation, or just last, all right? Purposeful entrepreneurship is for you because if you have a purpose behind your business that you have started, it will keep you going. You will remain passionate. You're going to remain passionate. Why? Because you don't want to be pushed to continue forging on in your business. Yes, you need to have this passion, this thing in your mind, this love, this particular desire that keeps you going. All right. And if there is no reason in your mind before you started, what is going to keep you going? So you need to be a purposeful entrepreneur so that over time, when challenges start coming in in the business, you would have a reason to continue. You have something in mind that you know that you are running with. All right. The reason you started the business in the first place is the reason you should continue going. The reason you started the business in the first place is the reason you should continue, all right? It keeps you going like you would continue if you have a purpose in your mind why you started that business in the first place. Even in hard times, without a defined purpose, the business will fade away because there's no reason to continue. The business will just fade, especially in these times where the market is saturated and there are so many people competing like you. You need to have something in mind because if you don't have something in mind, other people will adopt you to do what they have in mind, all right? And then secondly, why you should go into purpose for entrepreneurship is because it will help you to take deliberate and relevant actions towards the expansion of your business. So many people are stuck in business today. Like they don't know where else to go. They don't know what next to do. And the reason it is happening like that to them is because they have no defined purpose in the first place or they must have forgotten. It wasn't rooted in them enough. They must have forgotten why they started in the first place. If you have a clear reason in mind why you started your business, it makes you take deliberate actions. You know the next thing to do. You know the next point to take. Are we still following, please? Great.
All right, I'm sorry for the break in between. Um, it was a little hitch somewhere, but we can continue right now. So as I was saying that being a purposeful entrepreneur will help you take deliberate and relevant actions towards the expansion of your business. Today's world is distracted. There's so much going on in the world, especially in the digital space, especially on this social media, especially on this digital space. So much is going on. So, and so many things out there seeking your attention, the attention of your business, seeking your money, your energy, you know, all that you need towards building your business. There are so many other things out there willing to drag that with you. All right. So you, you might think that you are in certain activities, you are carrying on certain seemingly interesting activities, but they're only taking you round circles. They might seem interesting. They might seem like, you know, they're interesting, they're attractive activities. But at the end of the day, you'll find out that you're just running around circles because those activities, those actions are not taking you straight. They're not taking you towards your purpose of the business. Yes, the reason anything that is not taking you towards why you started that business is more like a waste of time. Yes. So as a purposeful entrepreneur, anything that does not concern why you started the business in the first place should be considered as a distraction. Are we still together? You will do nothing but waste your time if you continue to involve in activities that are not going to contribute towards moving your business to where it should be. All right. Moving your business to the reason the main purpose you have in mind for creating that business. If, for example, you notice a space in the aspect of, um, in a particular niche, let's say you, you notice a space in a particular niche, what do you do? Having that niche in mind, that is the reason you got into that business. And anything that does not concern it, it's more like a waste of time. You've drifted out of your purpose, all right? Everything might not always be perfect. Everything might not always be perfect. But you should have a clear picture, at least. You should have a clear picture. I don't know if you've ever come across um, a Barbie salon that has a different, a different signpost on its own. It's more like being confused, all right? So as a business person, as an entrepreneur... Being purposeful about your business will make you know the difference between time wasters and activities that will bring progress, measurable progress to your business, okay? Social media or the digital space generally is as a two-edged sword. It can do you much good or do you much distraction or even destruction. Because if you are going to be destroyed, it's going to start from destruction, all right? So as, as a purposeful entrepreneur, make up your mind to have a clear reason, a clear purpose in mind. As you've started the business, keep it in view. Keep the vision, the purpose of that business. Why? Why you started it in the first place? Keep it in mind. So that things like social media will not distract you because... If you are leveraging social media for your business, in fact, every business today should leverage on social media. If you are leveraging on the digital space to do your business, how do you keep yourself on the top so that it does not swallow you up? How do you remain a focused and purposeful entrepreneur in this time, in this age, in this period where social media is diversified so much so that can distract you? How do you keep yourself afloat? Number one, creating a schedule will help you so much. Creating a schedule, like having a reason for what you're doing. Are we still together? I want to know if we're still. All right.
All right. So as I was saying, you should be using your social media and not your social media using you. There's so much going on in the social media right now. Have a schedule so that social media will not use you. Have a plan because you might have plans of doing something for your business and the next minute a notification pops up. Something comes up that takes your attention. Have a schedule that you would follow diligently as a business person so that distracting activities of social media won't take away your time, okay? Be organized, have a schedule, as I said, and you can adjust your schedule with time as you get busier, as activities come up, you can adjust your schedule. And you must be present. A purposeful entrepreneur is an entrepreneur who is present to give in all the energy, all the time, and whatever it will take to build that business, all right? Be ready to, to leverage, to give yourself what it will take, okay? Entrepreneurship is a journey, and your way is what will keep you on track. For you not to be swallowed up in this big ocean of social media, it is your purpose, your why, the reason you are on this social media platform in the first place. That is what will keep you going. So don't come with, to social media without a plan of what you intend to do in there. There's too much waiting to distract you. So much waiting to distract you that you have to... You have to put yourself together and decide what you will be doing as you come up to that social media platform, all right? Even if you lose it at some point, remember your why. Even if you are discouraged at some point, remember your why. Remember why you started that business in the first place, okay? Don't worry about failing or what other people are doing. Just focus on what made you start the business in the first place. A lot of people are drowning today because they lose focus of where they are going and where, why they started. When you started a business or when you thought of that business, what did you have in mind? Why did you decide to be on that line of business? Pick that particular reason. Hold it there. Continue to meditate on that reason. And as you continue to have it in mind, you'll find out that whenever anything that is not connected to why you started that business is going to take away your energy, you will resist it. You will resist it, all right? If you don't have a why for starting your business, I encourage you to have one now. From now, if you've not taken time to check why you are in that line of business, Start now. Yes, from now, decide what to do. Begin to look at that business now. Why am I in this business in the first place? What motivated you to start it? Because if you cannot tell why you started it, you will not have enough reasons to continue. All right? And even when challenges come, it will kick you off immediately. So focus on what made you start the business and success will flow. Really, you shouldn't be under pressure with what is going on in social media. Everyone is not on social media for the same reason. There are some people on that social media, they're not there for business. They're there for an entirely different reason. If you are there for business, stick to why you are there. And when you are done with that, leave. Attend to your business, do why you are there, and leave. All right? If you don't follow the reason you started your business, you will end up following other people's businesses. That's why, have you ever considered why some persons join a particular business like, okay, this is the working business. This is what people are doing right now. This is what is working. You join other people to do it. And at the end of the day, you find out that it didn't work for the person as the way it worked for the person that he saw that made him join that business. Why? Their purpose. It is the purpose of joining a business that determines the dedication you will put to it. All right? So, have you ever wondered why Thomas Edison never stopped? Like, have you ever wondered why? 
Thomas Edison had tried severally, so many times. He had tried severally for that thing he was doing, trying to create a particular thing. But it was not working. But he kept going. He planned to light up the world. He had something in mind. I want to be remembered for lighting up the world. What is the purpose of that business? If you have the purpose of that business in your mind, then you can't be swallowed up in social media. And then take note of this. You don't have to be active on all the social media platforms at the same time. This is one of the mistakes that business people make. Honestly, you don't have to be all over the place. Have a focus. If you want to grow your followership on Facebook and Instagram, for example, look at where it's working for your business. All right, focus on what is working for your business, okay? Keep the focus on what is working. Don't go to Twitter because everybody is on Twitter. Honestly, it's not going to work that way. Don't go there because everybody is there. Go to the platform that will suit your business, where you have your target. I'm sure as a business person, you know your target audience already. You know why. Because if you know why you are going into a business, then you should know your purpose of going into that business. If you know your why of going into the business, you should know who the business is for. You should know what it is for, who it is for, and everything that pertains to that business. Everything that relates to why you should be doing that business, who it is for, your target audience. As a matter of fact, you will know who it is for, and you will know whether your audience is on Facebook, or on WhatsApp, or on Instagram. All right? You will definitely know. All right, I'm tempted to say praise the Lord. <laughs> but are we following, please? Okay, so everything might not be perfect, but be assured that you are focusing your energy on the reason for the business. Focus your energy. Yes, because so many things are out there on that social media, on that platform, on the digital space waiting to distract you. So many other persons are even waiting to distract you with their own business. Yes. Everyone is facing their own business and you might end up being swallowed up in that space if you let it. So start with being specific. As a business person, be specific. Pick a particular platform or two, two at most at a time, two platforms at a time. Maybe Instagram and Twitter, maybe Instagram and Facebook, maybe WhatsApp and Instagram, you know, Pick where you have your audience. And then while you are on those platforms, focus on why. Focus on the reason you are in that business. Okay? And then everyone is in business to solve a problem. You and I already know that it goes beyond um, making money, making profit. If your business is fulfilling its purpose, you will make money. If your business is a purposeful business, you will definitely make money. Yes. If you are not making money, it is a proof that your business is probably not fulfilling its purpose. Because, for example, if your purpose is to um, provide books, all right, if you are in a place where people read and you are selling books, it is possible, in fact, the narrative will be that they will patronize you. Your business is covering a space. It's covering a particular niche. It's doing something for people. It's solving a problem for people. People don't want to give you money. They want to pay you for solving a problem. So if your business is solving a problem, you make money for it, from it. So focus on why, what problem that business brought you to solve. Not really the money you will make from it. Because while you are solving problems, you'll be making the money. All right?
know the purpose, take action. It is not enough to know the purpose of the business. Honestly, it is not enough. It's not enough to know the purpose of the business. Don't be discouraged because you think that um, time is fast spent. No, this is your time. Do what you can with the time you have, all right? Thomas Edison had in mind to, to create something, to solve a particular problem, and he did not rest. He had so much motivation to continue because he had a focus for starting that, that venture in the first place. So what is the focus of your business? What is the reason behind your business? Talking about purposeful entrepreneurship. Is your business purposeful? What is the reason behind it? Is it just about making money or you want to solve a problem? Because people will not give you their money except to solve a problem. And if you are willing to solve a problem and you want to use the social media, which has a very big capacity to enhance your sales, if you want to use the social media or the digital space, then you are in the right path, but don't let it swallow you up. Be in the social media platform to do what you want, not making, not let the social media show you what to do. Do what you want with it, not it doing what it wants with you. Social media shouldn't do what it likes with you. Let me tell you a practical example of social media doing what it likes with a person. You go online, your plan is to post five of your products today, place a sales copy and, you know, make it. And there's a particular time that your target audience will be online, that usually online at that season. But the moment you come online, a notification pops up and, you know, things are going on. Before you know, you are forgotten, you're supposed to do something, you are distracted and all that. At the end of the day, before you will remember to go back and make your post about your business, it's already time is already fast spent. You've missed the opportunity already. So, in order not to be in that shoes, do what you want to do with social media first. Like I said, creating a schedule will help you. Honestly, it will. If you create a schedule and you plan what you want to do with it, it's a tool, it's meant to be used. Social media is a tool. It's not supposed to use you. It's a tool that you should use. And you decide what you will use it for. Stop letting social media use you or use your business. Do what you want with it and exit it. Social media is not meant to direct you. So many persons are drowned in it. When they wake up, the first thing they do is social media. Before they sleep, the last thing is social media. All day they are on social media. It is not bad to be on social media for such a long time. But the question is, is it because the social media is using you or because you are using it? It is meant to be used and as such should be timed. Don't let your usage of social media encroach into the time you're supposed to be using to do other relevant things, okay? Don't let that happen. Put your focus on the reason behind your business. And if your business is fulfilling its purpose, definitely, I mean definitely, money will follow it. So what is your business solving today? Is your business purposeful? What is the why behind your purpose? What is the, rather, what is the why behind your business? What program, what problem, rather, is it solving? What problem is your business solving? What is the relevance of your business on social media? Is it just to have an account so that you can watch videos? No. It's meant to be there so that you can use it to promote your business. If you can give yourself six months of focusing on the why of your business, if you give it six months, direct focus, focus on doing what you want to do with your business, you will find out that you have tremendous results, tremendous results. In other words, in layman's terms, mind your business, mind why you are in that business and stick to it focus on that. Thank you so very much. I'll pause here for questions.
Are there any questions? Thank you, thank you for that wonderful session. Thank you so much now. So there's room for question. If you have any question, please ask. Ask, please. Any question? Any question? All right. Can I ask a question? Yes, you can. <laughs> All right, ma'am. Is there any for a purpose before we go into business online? Or we can always find that purpose after going online. Some people use uh, social media without having any purpose in mind. For such people to find purpose after using the social media wrongly. All right. Thank you for that question. I'll start by saying that for those who are already on social media without knowing why they are there, there's still hope for them. They can still find why. But for those who have not started a business yet or have not taken their business to social media yet, it is better to have a purpose at hand, to have a reason at hand before you take it there. It's better to have a reason at hand because if you have a reason at hand, it will keep you focused. As I mentioned earlier, as I explained earlier, but for those who don't have a reason, who don't have a purpose of doing that, they'll be easily distracted. There will, there will not be chance for that for that reason to be deeply rooted in them. But then it does not mean that if you are already on that path, you cannot make it better. You can always make it better. If you're already on social media, your business is already on social media and it is not purposeful, you can still make it better. All right? So that's my answer. I hope I've answered your question. All right. Thank you, Ma. Thank you for that wonderful answer. I guess nobody has asked questions to ask. All right. All right. We are indeed grateful to you, Ma, for honoring our invitation. So how can we reach out to you? Um, on my social media platforms, my WhatsApp is there. You can use my WhatsApp handle for them if they want to reach me personally. My Facebook handle, Tosina Day, just Tosina Day. Same thing with my Instagram handle, Tosin underscore Ade. That's my um, Instagram handle. And um, lastly, before I go, I want to say to the purposeful entrepreneurs out there that social media is a tool meant to be used. Control it. Determine when you use it. Control it. Okay. Use it to express the purpose of your business. Not really allowing it to just lie there. All right. And um, lastly, I want to say that every purposeful entrepreneur out there should always remember to create an alone time for themselves. Don't be so neck deep into the business that you don't have an alone time. Always create an alone time for yourself. It will help you in your purposeful entrepreneurial journey. So that's it. Can you hear me? Are you there? my network 
Thank you very much, Ma. We are indeed You're grateful welcome. to you. All right, guys. That's the end of first session. We'll be going on a short break while the second speaker will come on stage. And I hope you are ready for the email marketing guru, email marketing lord. So get set. We are going on a short break at uh, at most 10 minutes break. So don't go far away from your phone or your system. We are coming back soon. All right.